Hello and welcome back to another workshop video. We are going to be checking out more awesome Scream Fortress items in this video. First off here is going to be Strange Sorcery. This is an unusual effect that I collaborated on with Kerpongle and Shinon. I absolutely love this one. I am super proud of it. There's going to be this orange one here and I love the colors. I love how bright it is. All of these symbols and everything are random as they go around so it looks super super cool. There's this orange version, there's going to be this purple version, which I love. It's got a little bit of that blue in there. Such a nice shade. I think this is going to go incredible in a lot of different loadouts. I think purple lends itself really, really well to like the magic, wizard, witch kind of set. And then there is going to be this green version, which is super cool. Definitely going to be fantastic for a witch themed set. I think that would look incredible. I'm so, so happy with the colors for this effect. I think it came out phenomenally. I love the animation. I love how it all looks. This is one of my favorite effects of the year so far. I think it just came out absolutely awesome. Huge props to Kerpongo and Shinon for helping me create this. It's just absolutely awesome work. I'm so happy to see this made. I absolutely love Strange Sorcery. I really hope it gets in. I think it's got a really good shot. So here's hoping because I think this would be a fantastic fit for Scream Fortress. Next up here is the Plate of the Living Bread. And this, of course, is going to be a shoulder pet cosmetic, which is like a baby manvich. Before we even get into the item, I do just want to say I love this promotional SFM. I think this came out amazingly. Just a father protecting his son. I, I, <laughs> I think it's super funny. But back to the actual cosmetic, we come over here. Fits super nice on the heavy's shoulder. I don't see any clipping or any shenanigans like that. The plate is going to be paintable, which I think is a good idea. I think being able to paint the actual um, sandwich would be kind of lame. I don't know. The sandwich is the sandwich, man. You can't change it, you know? But having the plate be paintable, you can still tie it into different loadouts. So I think that's a good choice for paint region. We come over here. There's a bunch of different loadouts. Never speak to me or my son again. <laughs> the Chad dad man, bitch. We love to see it. <laughs> and if we come down here, you can see it has facial flexes so that when your character's doing voice lines and facial animations, the little uh, baby man, bitch, will follow along with them. And I think that is such a cool touch. But not only that, they also have jiggle bones. So this guy's going to be bouncing around as you run across the map. I think that's awesome because Heavy has a really like bouncy run. You know what I mean? So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be super active in game. And I love that. My good friend Tired Swiss kind of concepted this. And this is pretty much his baby. He is so, so proud of this cosmetic. And I'm just really excited to show it off to you guys. Because I think y'all are going to really like this one. Not only is it a fantastic meme. But it's a really good, well-made cosmetic. I like it, man. I think this is really, really cool. Now, here's a really cool war paint. This is the Eldritch Idol war paint. And it's going to be themed around the Soul Gargoyle, which I think is a super cool idea. So in Factory New, it's going to be this nice, clean, metallic weapon. But as it wears, it's going to get that Soul Green on there. And you know how I feel about custom wares. I think they are super, super cool. This one is no exception. And even in just factory new, I think this is a fantastic use of the Soul Gargoyle concept. It's not super loud, but you can still tell what it is. It's got that nice eye sticker there and everything. I love this like scale texture. I think that looks amazing. And then if we come over here, it shows off on a whole bunch of weapons. It looks absolutely fantastic. I like how it looks on the flamethrower a lot. I think that looks really cool. We keep scrolling along here. There's just a whole bunch of really, really cool uses for this paint. Looks awesome on all of the grenade launchers. I think that maps together really well. And then the final page of them here, the SMG is really cool. The amputator is kind of themed because it's got like that scale texture where the blade is. Same thing with like, um, like the wrench and then the uber saw. Very, very cool stuff. I think this would be a perfect war paint for the case this year. Hopefully we get a case this year. <laughs> Valve keeps us on our toes. But if we do, this would be a fantastic addition. You can obviously tell it's for Scream Fortress, but I think outside of Scream Fortress, you can make loadouts with it because gray is such a neutral color. 
and there are a lot of sets and effects that work really really well with this green color i really like this one i think this is a fantastic war paint now, I gotta be honest with you, this is one of my favorite items so far this year. This is absolutely fantastic. This is the Lockman's Curse. This is gonna be a Halloween animal head for the Demo Man. Got jiggle bones on there and everything. As you can tell, super, super high quality model. This is just for the head replacement there. And then we'll have a look at all of the appendages after. We have a really nice render of it here, and this is the full set together. It looks fantastic all assembled. I, just, I love this. This is one of those things where I'm like, why don't we already have it? Because this is awesome. It fits and it just, it looks plain awesome. You can't tell me you wouldn't rock this for like a full moon. It, it just looks incredible. Really well made as well. You got the facial flexes on there. So as you're doing different facial animations, you can tell when you have this equipped, if he's sad, if he's happy, if he's angry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do have the paint region as well as another render here of the entire set and some loadouts right here as well. And then of course this is the lake lurker. This is going to be the arms, the feet, and then the tail. Everything is jiggle boned which is super awesome. The fins here move and then the tail moves. It's got a very similar paint region so it's not going to look out of place. It's going to mesh together really really well. I like it on red team with team colored paints. It kind of looks like he's got bloody hands and feet. <laughs> he's, he's eating a couple people tonight. Very, very cool stuff. I'll show you the entire set assembled one more time, just in case you want to have a second look. I, I love this middle render. <laughs> there are some more loadouts over here. And this one, I think, would lend itself really well to a lot of other Halloween cosmetics like they're showing here. Very, very cool stuff. I think there is the opportunity for a lot of fun loadouts with this. Overall, just a fantastic item set. For two items, you get a full Halloween set that leaves you a slot free, which is pretty cool. I really, really hope this one gets in this year because th this is one of my personal favorite animal heads of all time, including the ones that are in the game. I just, I love stuff like this, dude. It's so well made. You know I love reptiles. This is just right up my alley. Next up on the chopping block is gonna be this spy. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's the cultist's cowl. It's gonna be this awesome hat for the sniper that gives him this cowl that goes over his head. There is this style, which is the blind faith, which has this like bloody bandage on there. But if you don't like it, there is a style to remove it, which I really like. The hood itself looks fantastic. I really like how the wrinkles and everything mesh together. Um, it's going to pair really well with, I think, the scoped Spartan, actually. That could make a really cool loadout. It pairs really nice with, like, bandanas and everything if you want to fully cover Sniper's face. Uh, like I was saying, there it is. <laughs> the scoped Spartan. That looks awesome, dude. Not to pat myself on the back, but I think that looks incredible. <laughs> I absolutely love the loadout potential here because if you don't want it for Halloween, you can always use the uh, no bandage style. And I think you can use this in a lot of medieval loadouts. You can use this in a lot of fancy loadouts. You can use this in like a wizard set. There's a lot of things you can do with it. And I think it is super, super cool. And then you have the paint region, which paints the entire cloth, which I absolutely love. Nice, loud region. You can use this to tie it into a whole bunch of other loadouts. And then it shows off both of the styles with just the model, which is pretty cool to see, as well as the concept art, which I always love to see. And, and it translated really well, like almost exactly, except for maybe like a little less blood on the final product. Very, very nice. Actually, wait, hold on. Okay, there's one little stitch there. And then on the final product, there's two. Uh, you know what, guys? Uh, absolutely unplayable. Uh, worst item uh, I've ever seen. Uh, downvote, uh, plus ratio, plus L. <laughs> In all seriousness, this is an awesome hat for the sniper. This is the easiest assassin grade or commando grade I've ever seen in my life. Now, you remember what I said about custom wear? That is turned up to 11 with the Ghoul Blaster War Paint. So in Factory New, it's going to be a nice, clean, ghost trap looking thing. I love the sticker on that. I think that looks really, really nice. But then as it wears, it gets gunky green all over it. 
or if you're a ghost nerd, you'd probably call it ectoplasm instead of gunky green, but it's my show. I'm going to call it gunky green. <laughs> Sure. They have it on a whole bunch of weapons here, and I actually really like that they show it with all the different wares. I really like it when it's in like that mid-range of field tested, so there's a little bit of it on there. Very, very cool stuff. You notice they also changed the blood splatters to green, which is a nice touch, because I think a big blotch of red right here would really mess up uh, the color cohesion and everything. So it's very smart that they changed it to green. I like that. Good attention to detail. We come over here, look at the lock and load, that's insane! It's like entirely green on the uh, metal parts. That is insanely cool, <laughs> I really like that. These just look awesome, I love the difference between the factory new and like the battle scarred. It's just, it gets insane. <laughs> Big fan of this one. I think this is one of the most extreme uses of custom wear that I've ever seen, and I am all for it. I really hope Valve catches on because this whole custom wear thing is such a good innovation. It, it's such a good idea, man. I love it. Now, this is a really cool facial hair cosmetic, and this is multi-class, so everyone except for Scout and Pyro is going to have this one. This is the Devilishly Handsome Goatee. Fantastic facial hair model. You can see it on a whole bunch of classes here. Now, I think my fellow loadout nerds will agree that you can never have too many beards. There are so many different loadouts where this would be super, super useful. I'm just thinking of like the possibilities now and it's really exciting. Of course, it's going to have the facial flexes down here. You kind of have to when you do facial hair, you got to have the facial flexes on there. Uh, but it looks really, really good. It is well done and everything. The paint region is obviously going to paint everything because it's facial hair. Really, really cool stuff. I, just, I love this. I think this would be a great addition to the game in general because you can use this in a bunch of different loadouts. And there's just so many different ways it could go. You can obviously tell it's for Scream Fortress because it's like the devil's beard. It looks very sinister. But you can use this for a whole bunch of other things. And in my opinion, that is one of the best kinds of Halloween cosmetics. Is the ones that function for the other 11 months of the year. I love to see it. Now here's a really cool unusual taunt effect. This is going to be magical mayhem. It's going to have these bombs flying all over obviously super super themed on demo man or really any pirate themed loadout the actual particles look fantastic oh wait hold on is that different that's a different base oh it's not just a recolor oh i didn't know this that's so cool flames of fury red team so there's a blue version as well which is purple dude that's really cool. I love that it's not just like a color swap. They actually did different things for it. That is awesome. And then the final version, timed detonation. That is sick. So it's like a little, little hour, hourglasses uh, flying everywhere with like sand. That is absolutely stellar. That took me off guard. I thought it was just like the bombs here and then it would like recolor um, all of the particles as per usual. That is above and beyond. I, I love that. That looks fantastic. Next up here, we have the Vicious Wood War Paint, a very, very good purple skin for all of your weapons. Naturally, I love it on the fish. I want to slap people with a cursed wooden fish. I, I think that is pretty funny for Scream Fortress. But this is a really, really well-made war paint that would go really nicely with any purple loadout. And the uh, intricate details of like this bark pattern and like the branches and everything coming around very very cool i think this would look a lot better in first person you kind of have to squint to see it as is but i think it would look amazing actually we don't have to dream they show us in first person i just had to scroll down look at how cool this is and it glows in the dark apparently that's sick i really really like that the fact that the purple parts kind of glow and there's like ghosts on the end of the gun you can only see it in the dark Pay attention to like the tip of the rocket launcher. You can see the ghosts a lot better in the dark. You can kind of see them in the light now that I'm like really, really looking at it. But it's so much more visible in the dark. I love that. That's a cool little Easter egg. I'm really impressed by that. That is such a cool attention to detail. The fact that it like has lighting effects and everything on it. 
That's nice, dude. I like that. Oh, y'all heard of Among Us Pyro? Well, this is him now. Feel old yet? <laughs> This is going to be the Bonehead, which is going to be a Halloween head cosmetic for the Pyro. Now, obviously, this is an Among Us joke. You can't get around it. This is the funny Amogus. <laughs> but outside of the haha -ha funny, this is a really cool idea. This would add volumes to the cursed loadout economy. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> How are you guys going to be rocking up this Halloween? You're going to be rocking up as the child? Perhaps the specimen? <laughs> Perhaps the little guy? <laughs> Cursed doesn't get much better than this, folks. I, I think this is a really cool head cosmetic. Scream Fortress is the season for Cursed loadouts, and I think this is really funny. It's well made. It looks good. I like it. But anyways, I better vent before they find the body. <laughs> All right, that should buy me enough time to do the outro. That is going to be all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you're new here, I do these every single week. So be sure to subscribe because I have a lot more amazing cosmetics on the way to show you. As always, I'm going to have the workshop links down in the description below. So please be sure to vote yes, favorite, and give them awards if you are so inclined. Show the workshop creators some love and tell them Scout Time sent you. That's all for now, though. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next one.